Okay, continuing on to problem 2.2, we're still going to be using the same notes from up above here. So let's see if the master theorem applies. Is this of the form t of n is equal to a, here's our a, a, times t of n over b? Well, there's a floor here, but remember, we get to ignore floors and ceilings. So that's not a problem, which means this is our b, plus f of n. So here's our f of n. Yeah. This certainly looks like it applies. Now, we're going to have to be a little cautious because there is this regularity requirement in the root dominates case, but let's not worry about that until we get there. Uh, so the key thing that we need to compute here is the log base b of a, because that's used to figure out which case we're in. Well, the log base 3 of 9, so in this case, this is the log base 3 of 9, that's the power we need to raise 3 to to get 9. Well, 9 is equal to 3 squared, so that power is just 2. So the log base b of a is just 2. And remember, n root n here, n root n, is n times n to the 0 0.5, which is n to the 1.5. It's much more convenient to have it in this form in order for us to use the master theorem, because then we can see right away how n to the 1.5 compares to n to the 2. Well, n to the 1.5, that's going to be little o of n squared, but what really matters is we have f of n is in big O of n to the 1.5 for 1.5 less than uh, log base b of a. Oh my goodness, sorry. There should be no n here, there should be no n here, there should be no n here. Okay. So, sure enough, this falls into the first case, and that's actually all we need to know in this particular problem. It's the leaf case. But we could go through and solve this, certainly. It's actually quite easy if we look back at the master theorem. It tells us in the leaf case, this is theta of the amount of work in the leaves, which is n to the log base b of a. That's n squared. So this is in theta of n squared. And we can figure that out very, very easy, just use, easily just using the master theorem. And that's it for this problem.